Hello guys, welcome to Tech Bridger. So in this video, I'm going to explain how we can move a cell set from one branch to other branch. So uh, here you will see uh, a cell set is created in one branch and uh, you can move that cell set to the other branch on TFS. So uh, to explain this concept, first of all, uh, you can see that uh, there are uh, uh, two projects in uh, TFS. Uh, the first one is first TFS project and second is the branch which is created from the first TFS project. So uh, right now uh, I am opening the first one here and you know that let's uh, uh, make some changes. So here I am changing the text to this is about this page. Right. So, uh, save the changes when you go to the team explorer, then you, here you can see that uh, this is showing in the pending changes. You compare with the latest version. So yes, this is the changes which uh, we have made. Now, uh, first of all, we will create a cell set here. So click on cell and give some name here. So you can see that it is about us page changes. Then click on cell button. Uh, so you, here you can see that uh, the subset has been created successfully on the first branch. Now we want to move this subset to the second branch. Uh, for that, first of all, uh, make sure that uh, there should not be any pending changes in uh, any of the branch. So uh, what you can do, uh, you can uh, undo your changes here. Right now, uh, go to the Solution Explorer, Source Control Explorer, and uh, then open the second one. Okay, uh, first of all, check that if there is any pending changes. No. And also, uh, make sure that uh, on both the branches, uh, you should have the uh, latest version if you don't then please take the latest version from the source control uh, okay now uh, you can see that uh, now i have opened the second branch and uh, now i want to pull the cell set which is i have created in the first branch uh, so for that uh, uh, this is the command which we can use that is tfpt on cell and after that in source you have to specify the name of your uh, uh, source branch where you have created the cell set and the target it's the name of the uh, target branch where you want to move the cell set and the last one is your uh, the name of the cell set okay right so uh, for that uh, Go to the source control explorer and here you can see the local path so just click on this right so uh, press the button control shift and uh, the right click and then open command window here after that copy this command So make sure that the name of the cell set is correct. So just want to cross check this. So it is about us page changes. Right, it is correct. So copy this command and paste here. Right. And then press the enter key. Okay, so uh, here you can see that uh, it is now showing the location of the cell set, uh, which is correct. And then uh, click on unsolve button here. The following conflict must be resolved to unsolve this cell set. So uh, you can click on auto resolve option here and then close this window. So here you can see that the message is saying that auto was successful. 
now uh, we will uh, go to visual studio here and uh, just check the pending changes so here you can see that uh, now in the pending changes our changes uh, which we have done in the first branch uh, move to the second branch so uh, using all these steps uh, you can move a self set from one branch to the other branch so thanks for watching this video